Hey now. I'm back. And this is... What? What are we doing? Oh yeah, another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah! Alright, today we're doing my mussels recipe. Alright, I hear the butter going on, chattering over there in my pot. I've got my uh, relatively big red pot. I'm only doing four pounds of mussels. Enough for me and the great Pappy. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, we got some butter and oil in there. Yeah, it's all groovy. And, uh, we've got a diced tomato, uh, chopped sweet onion, about a half of one. We got a bunch of thyme, and we got three cloves of garlic mince, and we've got a half of a, uh, or we've got a, a lemon, a whole lemon here we're gonna squirt the juice in. But we got our butter going right there. So uh, we're gonna throw in the thyme, the garlic, and the onion. Oh, listen to that love. Mm, you should smell this. Oh. All right. All right, so we got that. We'll stir that around. I wish I had an overhead cam like the professional so you can see how groovy this is. And of course, like uh, the BAM guy says, I wish we had smell a smell on that. You know, at some point they are. They're working on it with scents and stuff that uh, get released when you look at stuff like food or whatever and a little device that releases scents and stuff. All right. We just want to sweat that down a little bit. Uh, so anyways, we serve this with some garlic bread. And I've got some pretty groovy garlic bread over here. Freaking you know, bread that I uh, slice sort of funky or whatever. I got one, one groovy slice, but the top sort of sticks up and it's going to cook funky. But anyways, I used a, a stick of butter and what, what wasn't uh, used on this. What wasn't used on this uh, was uh, uh, used in the pan here on this bread and then put some uh, dried garlic on there. All right, so now we're gonna add the tomatoes. All right, there we go. And our lemon. get some seeds in there no big whoop because uh, you're gonna be picking most of the stuff is, is more for uh, flavor than uh, actual eating but yeah I should have held my fingers on there or picked the seeds out oh there goes one right there oh this is a seedy bastard kind of like the lawyer I had once he was a seedy bastard Get that nice and squished. Get all the juices out of there. I'm gonna do this one again too. Oh, there we go. Throw these away. Should compost. I will in one of my places. All right, get that all stirred around. And let that mingle for a little while and get the lemon juice in the uh, in the tomato cooked down all right there we go I'll give you a give you a little look see give you a little look see of what's going on here uh oh this function is currently not available I didn't mean to do that I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Flip it around, Robert. Ooh, look at that grooviness. Look at that love. Look at that love in there. All right. Somebody eats a seed. Oh, well, it'll be me or dad. I mean, the great pappy or whatever. But yeah, let that sweat down and get the lemon juice and the thyme all in the uh, tomato. 
Alright. Look at that love. Look at that love. Alright. Let's get this back on the stand. Alright. So now, in order to steam the mussels that are going in here, you want to add some chicken stock. I'm doing a show here. And then, uh, hey! And then, no! And then I'm doing uh, some, uh, adding some ri uh, Riesling wine. Or a good dry wine. About a half a cup, uh, about a cup or so. I don't know, I just put it in there. Alright. Dad, I'm doing a cooking show. Yeah. And the, the dogs are boisterous. <laughs> All right, so we got that going. Now we're gonna throw in our uh, mussels, which uh, if you get them wild, you know, from a digger or something. I mean, a picker or whatever, worm digger, or clam digger, or whatever. Somebody that harvests harvests mussels. Lots of times they have the beard on them. People call them the bearded clam. But these have been debearded, as you can see, and they also looks like they scraped off the barnacles. So they're very beautiful. They're excellent for presentation. But these were 225 a pound, and I usually get them for a buck a pound when uh you get them with the uh, when they're ugly looking. But uh you know, I guess the barnacles sort of add up and wait. But, uh, anywho's friggin', uh, they, uh, they're way cheaper, and, and, but you have to, you have to de-beard de them, take a knife and cut the beard off on every single one, or you cook them up and then you pull it off when you're doing it, which is a pain in the butt when you're eating it, uh, and, and the beard is definitely not edible. It's pretty gross if uh, you get that in your mouth. All right, so we got them in there. Now we're gonna cover these and turn this to high and get it boiling, then turn it back down to a simmer. And basically you just uh, steam them or whatever, covered until they open up. Now all of them might not open up, so d don't keep cooking them until every single one opens up because some of them will not open up and don't eat those you know they're dead they're not groovy uh, but yeah that's pretty much that and uh it takes about mm, 10 minutes or so some of that range five minutes five minutes five ten minutes depending on how quick it comes up to steaming and everything it doesn't take long you know oh my gosh it's alive see that that's wild must be boiling. Can't see it, but it must be boiling in there. Look at that, it's shaking. That's that's pretty wild, man. All right. So I wonder if this is boiling now. Must be, so I'm gonna turn it down and just let that steam up, man. All right, so, uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. All right, peace. Hey now, we got uh, the uh, muscles all done. Check this out. Let's see if this is hot. All right, this isn't too hot. I'm gonna dump it quick. Check that out. Ooh, look at that love. See how they're open and stuff. All right, we're gonna dump this. Take oh, a little big pot. Oh. Oh, and I forgot to add, so if you like heat or whatever, add some sriracha or uh, uh, red pepper flakes. I don't know if you can see that. Look how friggin' awesome that looks. Oh my gosh, that's friggin' awesome. 
All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna spoon it onto a plate. some of that juice. You definitely get some of those juices. Yeah, some of these didn't open, like I said. All right, got the juice in there. Let's get a little bit more juice in there. Can't get to the juice because the darn muscles are in the way. All right, let's just grab one more. Over here. Oh, that's a pretty fair amount of juice. And then check out, check out our our garlic bread. If that isn't a groovy meal or whatever, you, you got problems. All right, somebody's trying to call me or something. Uh, this has been, wait a minute, I gotta put this down and I'll shake him every year. There you go, I put the shells uh, in there. Oh, I just dipped it on my hand. Uh, can you get the hint that I'm not gonna answer? Stop, I'll call you back. Some people, man. Uh, but anywho, this has been another episode of Pappy's Dirty Kitchen. Yeah! Have a good one, people.